will tell you an important use case for filtering nested lookups. My name is Sanjay Prakash and you know about me, I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and MVP, currently working on many content uh, preparation in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. Now let's come to the point now, let's take a business scenario for this video. I have three entities, one is the customer which is nothing but the contact, I have just changed the display name as customer and I have another entity called as bank accounts and the third entity is called as transactions. One customer might have multiple bank accounts and one bank account might have multiple transactions so there is a relationship one customer and many bank accounts one bank account many transactions right so one is to n between customer and bank account and one is to n between bank account and transaction so if we represent this in the in, in different lookups so what is what is our expectation let me go to customer let me create a customer if you do not understand the requirement first you will feel nervous right let me open any customer without creating a new customer let me open this alex simon now i can go to the related bank accounts because it is one is to one relationship i can go to bank accounts and i can create a new bank account for this customer so let me create a new cost a new bank account as a saving account for this customer branch uk branch and name saving account for uh, for alex right so this is one account bank account i have created for alex let me create another type of bank account for this customer by clicking new bank account this time i'll use current account and branch uk and specify current account for alex right and seven goes so i have two bank accounts created for this customer right because it is one is to one relationship for this same customer i have two bank accounts one is current account and another is saving account now i can go to the saving account and i can create a transaction i can create multiple transaction for this bank account if you go to related transactions right because there is one is to one relationship between bank account and transactions so let me create new transaction for this bank account so this is the bank account saving account for alex amount let's say 6000 and transaction date let's say today and transaction type credit let's say 6k credit for alex savings i can click on seven cruise right i can create another transaction for this bank account right so this is the bank account and for this bank account this is the account number right at the top so for this account number i can create another transaction also this is one transaction i have created let me create another transaction and i will create this time 8000 transaction date today and type is debit okay so 8k debit for for alex okay so i have used uh, only saving bank account to create transactions right so let me go to another account uh, current account for this customer so this is the current account and create and create a transaction on the current account this is the current account for alex amount let's say uh, 9000 transaction date today and let's say this is uh, credit so i can specify 9k uh, credit for alex current just to understand right so so what i have done for the same customer for the same customer alex i have created two bank accounts right so if you go to related bank accounts sorry related bank accounts you will see two bank accounts and every bank account has some transactions so saving account has two transactions and the current account has one transaction right this is what the data is there in, a, in my data parts now when i will use this customer lookup bank account lookup and transaction lookup in my custom page let us see how it looks like so let me add a combo box i'll add three combo box this will represent customer and let me copy paste to duplicate ok 
okay and i want to also take some labels to display the title of the combo box so here it will display customers and let me just choose a right align and let me copy paste So here it will display uh, bank accounts, right? And the third option, it will display transactions. So let me copy this. And here it will display transactions. Transactions, okay? Now, how to bind this? If you run it, you will find nothing, right? Nothing will populate here. But I want to bind customers in this lookup. So what I can do? I can go to here. In the data section, I have to bind all the uh, all the tables, right? Using add data option. After we uh, bound all the tables, I can use the items property of all the combo box property to associate different uh, items, different tables. So in the items of the first drop down or combo box, I want to connect customers so use customers now it will display customers go to bank account uh, look up uh, our combo box and write down bank accounts and in the third one transactions write down transactions right now there is a catcher if you run it you see here you will find all contacts here you will find all bank accounts irrespective of customer if this is for uh, this is for Dixon, this is for Amon, this is for Alex, this is for Amon, right? And here also you will find all transactions. Okay, let me go and check what happened. Oh, it is not properly mentioned. It should be transactions. So here also display all transactions. The point here is, now it is displaying all raw data from the uh, respective tables. But I want to filter, let me use Alex here. So when you select Alex, I'm expecting in the bank account, it should display only the bank accounts of Alex. But you see here it is not. It is also adding some other customers bank account in this lookup. That we need to restrict, right? So to restrict, you have to use a power FX. So go to here and do not use bank account directly, rather use a power FX. What is the power FX you need to use? So you have to use the filter. I want the correct result. So what is the formula we have written filter bank accounts where customer lookup contact selected equal to combo box selected now it will work fine now let me select alex you will see alex accounts you see here current account of alex having account of alex if you change uh amon let's say you will get amon information let me use let's say another is called as uh, Andrew Dixon will get one account right now in the selection of this account let me select Alex and select saving account but here you will see all transactions are displaying so because I have not filtered this let me filter this the same way so this is called as combo box one underscore one so you just copy this and paste it in here instead of bank account use transactions And I want to use the filter bank account where bank account equal to you just to remove this okay where bank account where bank account dot bank account this is the idea of uh, bank account dot bank account so this is the idea of the bank account equal to combo box one underscore one dot selected dot bank account right so this will filter 
the transactions as per the bank account selected in the bank account lookup you can test you see now it is showing for alex let me change to current account it is showing current let me change the customer itself current uh, customer itself let me choose uh, amon core and amon's uh, current account there is no transaction in the current account if you use saving account you will find some transactions right so this is how you can implement the nested uh, lookups uh, or nested combo box connecting to data force table using filters thank you everyone for your time see you next time bye